Food to me is a way of exploring different cultures, creating something distinct with boundless possibilities. I've been around the globe, traveling, discovering my origin. I would say my food is very provocative, like the Genesis GV80 is just keeping your curiosity running because it's boundless by design. Right now I'm heading to the Genesis kitchen to create a plate at Tastemade. My name is Rose Traore. I'm a son of an immigrant. I'm a chef. I'm distinct. And this is my origin story. We're going to be making my seared halibut with couscous, glazed carrots, and most importantly, we're going to finish it off with some herbs, a little bit of cube magie, which is something that we used a lot when I was growing up. As far as the cuisine that I've that I'm really focusing on is French cuisine, but also making sure that I'm able to introduce my culture, my roots, my origins from the Ivory Coast. My dad was a fisherman. I always remember him leaving for six months to go on shore to Alaska, and him also coming back. He would bring a lot of fish, and halibut used to be one of them. Seafood is my thing. I enjoy cooking it because it's a delicate ingredient. If you take care of it, you really get the best out of it. We're gonna start off by making a sauce for the glazed carrots. It's orange juice, carrot juice as well that we're going to add in there. The citrus glaze is something that's distinct. You could definitely taste it in the back of your palate while you're enjoying something sweet as a carrot and it really stands out. And it's one of my favorite ingredients to use. Now that your citrus glaze is reducing, we're going to proceed by cutting our carrots. Now, the process that we're going to take with this, it's called blanching and shocking. Blanching and shocking is, a, is you know, a, an amazing technique because you're able to cook the carrots to that perfect consistency that you're looking for, and then you're going to shock it by stopping the cooking process exactly where you want it to be. The wedges, it's just all about Appearance, yeah, you gotta, you gotta have some style. It's all, it's all about style. It's all about having every single one of your dishes be a true reflection of who you are as a chef and everything you represent. The glaze right now, I can smell all of the flavors just like rapidly boiling. It's reducing, it's getting sweeter as well. The flavor of Ivory Coast is fresh. It's vibrant, it's pure, it's grounded. My origin story starts from when my parents relocated from the Ivory Coast to the United States, trying to have a better life, trying to give me more opportunities, and really having so much drive behind them for me to be successful. As a chef, I'm really able to elevate that one component to the fullest. For example, we have some carrot juice here. That's from the carrots themselves. We're going to also make a carrot salad to go along with that as the garnish. We're also going to use the carrot tops to garnish it. It's all about total utilization. How far can you take this element? How far can you take this ingredient? The possibilities are boundless. All right, so now I'm going to blanch my carrots. My water's boiling here. Now that my chicken stock is boiling, I'm going to add in my couscous. Cover it up, turn your heat off, and we're just gonna let this steep and fluff it up within five minutes. First time I went back to the Ivory Coast, I was so happy to just be back with my people, my roots. The music was phenomenal. Hot heat just like on your back. Your skin is literally glowing due to the sun and you're out on a beach. I really enjoy these fond moments, especially going to the market and seeing everyone just trying to get the best of the best. Now that my carrots are ready, they're nice and tender, I'm going to shock them. And this is pretty much gonna stop the cooking process. Now that my citrus glaze is reduced, I'm going to add some butter. We're going to add in some lime juice, a little bit of salt. You want to emulsify the butter in there and then you want it to be a tight glaze. That is what I mean when I say tight. It's gonna get thicker. 
Now that I have a nice tight glaze, I'm going to strain it. You want to pretty much strain. Sometimes when you're reducing it, you get some, like, you know, the pulp that's stuck in there. You want a nice, smooth, pure sauce. It's all about these small steps that really elevate your dish. So now we have the glaze that's ready. Your carrots are nice and tender. We're just gonna add that in your pan here. Make sure every single piece is nicely coated. And then we're gonna finish that off with some orange zest as well. Now it's time for the couscous. Let's check it out. I'm just going to add in a little bit of salt to season it. We're going to fluff it up. As a kid, I remember us having couscous, you know, at least twice a week. Traditional Parisian dish would have potatoes, butter, and in the Ivory Coast, it's either atrique or couscous. I'm gonna season this with some cube magi. So cube magi is pretty much our beef bouillon. It's very concentrated with beef flavors, um, salt as well. Today I'm using a seasoning called cube magi that I used a lot when I was growing up in the Ivory Coast. It just brings back so much memory when I'm able to just taste it in the food and, and even smell it. It's very earthy, it's very bold. We're gonna finish the couscous off by cutting up some dill, adding some herbs in there. Now that the couscous is nice and fluffy, we're going to add it to the bowl here, perfectly seasoned as well. We're gonna keep this warm in the Amazon Smart Oven. Now we're going to be making my fish sauce. My fish sauce is full with flavors. I'm using the bone from the halibut to make my fume. I'm also going to incorporate some kombu, some bonito. And here I have some charred ginger that I'll be steeping in my stock. Smells really good. This sauce here really gets me jumping every single time I make it. It's all about elevating those flavors to take it to that next level, and that is really what brings this dish together. I'm going to pull that to the side. Now I'm just gonna blend it. Just gonna add in a little bit of xanthan gum here. It's a thickening agent to just get it to that perfect consistency that I'm going for. that consistency that I wanted at. I'm going to strain this. Look at that. Seafood is a big part of the Ivory Coast. And so my dad was also a commercial fisherman in Alaska. He was gone for six months. And it, I would just be so amazed when I got to get on that ship to just see everything they caught. It really brings me back to the good old days because I'm able to create a dish behind, you know, those exact memories. I love using halibut because it's a lot more durable. It's something where you could get a nice crispy sear on the outside and in the middle it's just nice and tender, fleshy, and that is really the balance that I look for when I'm making my halibut. So while my halibut is cooking, I'm going to start with my shaved carrot salad. Now I'm just gonna shock these guys, get some nice, crunchy, curly pieces. And I'm going to proceed by making my butter glaze white wine. You want to cook out that alcohol content. Now we're going to add in the garlic and thyme. All about those aromatics. Now I'm going to add my fish back in here. Now this is that butter glaze you're going for. You have that hot heat going through the whole fish. You have all of these beautiful aromatics that are releasing their oil because of the hot fat from the butter. It's nice and glossy. Now that I have the couscous on the plate, I'm going to add in the glazed carrots. This is my way of plating. I like to just have protein on one side, your 
starch on the underside with the veggies and then the sauce is the middle component that brings everything together. That beautiful consistency is exactly what I'm looking for. And then I'm going to finish this off with a little bit of fleur de sel. You're gonna get these crunchy, salty bits that are delicious. On this plate you have land, sand, and the sea. You have the couscous that really reminds me of the sand in Ivory Coast. You have the halibut that is just fresh from the salty water. Carrots that are just purely from the ground. It all brings back that memory. It all gives me joy to just see it come to life. And most importantly, it all comes together to tell my origin story. Each bite literally brings me back to my childhood memories.